Hey everyone, today I thought I would switch up our pace a little bit and do some stretching with you. For me, stretching can be a little difficult because I don't always have a lot of time um, and I'm not a huge yoga person. So if you're like me and you don't have a lot of time and yoga is really not your thing, try this out with me. Um, stretching, first of all, is great for just improving your flexibility in general, but if you're doing more intense exercise, it's a really, really good way to help prevent injury and to help your body heal. Um, if you're sore, it's a great way to help with soreness. So um, I'm going to be starting on the floor and then um, I will move up to standing. Some of the exercises or some of the stretches rather are going to be a little bit redundant, right? So you may see more than one stretch for a particular muscle group. And that's just so that you have options. Um, feel free to use this video as you need. You may not need to do all of the stretches all of the time. If you want to, that's fine. Um, you know, but if you're working a particular area of your body one day or you're feeling tight somewhere, you can use this as a reference to address whatever you need to. All right, so to get started, we're gonna be on the floor. And I like to begin in a child's pose. Bring your butt to your heels, take your knees wide, and then slide your hands forward, right? And you're gonna to try to press your armpits down towards the floor. And you can stay there. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time in each of these stretches today just because there are a lot of them. When you're doing this on your own, I would recommend pausing the video and you wanna do each stretch for um, 30 seconds, three times. So, you know, child's pose 30 seconds, kind of come out of it for a second and then exhale a little deeper into it for another 30 seconds and then another 30 seconds. And what that allows you to do is break kind of get through the fascia around the muscle so that you can actually get into stretching the muscle itself. So again, we're going to start in child's pose, hands forwards, armpits towards the floor, butt to your heels. And you're going to hold that for as long as you like. From child's pose, I like to come forward into a back bend. Now, I don't know if this is Cobra or upward facing dog. I don't know. I know one of them has the knees up, one does not. Whatever this is, it feels really good. So you can do this. And then, now in this pose, in this, make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears. You don't want to fall down like this, right? Keep the shoulders away from the ears during this stretch. Good. And come to laying down. You're going to hug your knees into your chest and I'm actually going to slide myself back a little bit so I have room to extend my legs. So hug your knees to your chest. You can rock side to side. Give yourself a little back massage. Cross one ankle over the opposite knee. So I'm going to start with my right ankle over my left knee. Wrap your hands around your left thigh and pull in nice and tight. And you should feel that release right through your butt, outer thigh, maybe even lower back a little bit. If you can't reach in and wrap your hands around your thigh, just kind of hug the top of your leg and pull everything in nice and tight. And then you're going to switch legs. Good, now you're going to extend one leg. I'm gonna kind of turn the side. You're gonna fold the other leg over top, arms go wide, and head looks in the opposite direction of your top knee. This is one of my favorites. You should feel this release in the outer thigh and the butt, and in the back as well, and open up through the chest. This is a great full body stretch. And then you just roll, extend the leg, fold the other leg over, and when you are turning your head, you wanna make sure if your knee is going to the left, your head is going to the right. Good. So those are the stretches that I like to do laying down. There are a couple more things you can do. Is you can 
stretch your hamstring, your other leg should be extended. If you need to, you can take a towel, wrap it around your ankle and use that to pull, or you can just use your arms and bring the leg in close, keep it as straight as you can. And then if you like to, let it fall open to the side. Sorry if my feet are dirty, my floor cleaning day is tomorrow. Try to keep this hip down if you're opening the other leg. Now, and also I'm, I'm fairly flexible. I'm not super flexible, but I'm more flexible than some. So if you're looking at me like, holy crap, I cannot get my leg that low. Don't worry about it. Do your range of motion, that's fine. So we'll bring the other leg in. So this stretches the hamstring, the muscles in the back of the thigh. And then when you open, you want to make sure you don't roll over, right? Keep your back nice and flat down and you should feel that pull through the inner thigh. You can also bring your legs up. Try to keep your lower back down. See mine started to lift. Keep it down, pull the legs in, and then you can take both legs and open them to the sides. Okay. So those are some laying down stretches. Again, if you want to hold any of those for a longer period of time, just pause me and hold it for as long as you need to, okay? Let's come to a seated position. And one of my favorite seated stretches, and there's kind of different schools on whether this is a great way to stretch hamstrings, but I like it, so I do it is to just reach for the toes. And we're gonna do a little experiment. I want you to see me from the side. Notice right now how my back is rounded. And if you can't reach your toes, don't worry about it. You could reach for your shins, you could reach for your ankles, wherever you can reach. Just reach and then reach like one inch more. I have really short legs, so it's not a problem for me to reach my toes. So you should feel the pull in the back of your legs. Now, I want you to try something. Straighten your back. You should feel that pull deepen a lot more, also through the backs of your knees and through your butt. Yeah, and keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Say you have this, right? Or straighten and feel the difference. Also seated, you can take one foot by your knee and twist, just like that. So you're stretching out your back, you're stretching out the glute and the outer thigh through here. And you can do that on the other side. It feels so good to stretch the body. Good. Just like we did laying down, you can take your legs nice and wide, right? Stretch out through the inner thigh. And you can walk out to your hands. You can also walk down onto your forearms if you want. If you're super flexible and you can go out into a full split, you can roll forward onto your belly as well. I cannot do that. I'm gonna go to my forearms. You can also take it to one side and reach over, open up through the chest and the shoulder. You don't wanna be hunched in like this, up and open. And feel the stretch of the side body here. Good, and then switch. Good. So, another thing that you can do is if you have a towel, you can pull back on your foot without leaning too far forward and feel the stretch through the calf. So especially if you're a runner, let's say you're kind of like sitting on the floor playing with your kid or watching Netflix or something. This is a great way to just kind of stretch out a little bit while you're doing whatever else it is that you're doing. Good. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can stretch the glute and the outer thigh. So first up is you can bring Make a straight line with your leg, bring the other leg back. 
bring your foot to your knee and then reach forward. And you should feel that release in the glute and the outer thigh of the front leg. If you want to add some hip flexor into that, this hip flexor here, you're going to go back into pigeon pose. So you're going to stick that leg straight behind you. This leg stays forward and you're releasing through the glute here and the outer thigh here into the hip, right? And you're getting the hip flexor in that leg. And then you can kind of collapse down on the whole thing. I know I said I'm not a yoga person, but some of their poses are pretty awesome. And pigeon is hands down one of my favorites. Good, so let's switch sides. So again, you can just bring that foot to the knee to start reaching forward, right? Feel that release through the glute and the outer thigh. And then you can walk it a little bit lower if you like. I already feel that deepen. And if you like as well, you can straighten that back leg and kind of collapse down on the whole thing. Now, what you want to make sure of is that you're not tilting open to the side like this to get your butt cheek on of the front leg down. Try to keep your hips squared. Good. All right, another way that you can do this is if you're pretty flexible through the hips, you can stack your knees and you can reach forward and you feel that release really well right through here. I love to do this stretch as soon as I'm done doing my side leg work. So all of these kind of moves and things like that, if you go into this right after, it'll release, it'll feel so, so good. Let's switch. So, yeah, stacking the knees. And again, I'm not like the most flexible person on the planet, but I can get there. Good, and feel that release through the glute and the outer thigh. The other thing that we can do for legs is come on down and take your foot, bring it to your butt. Notice here, my foot's not up, my knee is not up like this. My thigh is parallel to the ground. My hips are stacked and my bottom leg is folded for support. This is a great way to stretch the quads. Now the other thing you can do is start to rotate open a little bit, touch your toe down and you'll feel a little more right in here. So play around with the placement, right? You're still pulling back, but if you rotate just a tiny bit, you feel that difference. Good. Other side, thigh is parallel. And then if you like, rotate a little bit, feel how that stretch changes. Good. All right, other things I'd like to do on the ground. First of all, seated. We can do some upper body. So you can bring your hands behind your back and you can push open your chest and the front of your shoulders. Open up right through here. Or you can clasp your hands behind your back and pull open that way. And you can lift those hands up behind you as far as you like. And again, when you change the height, feel how the stretch changes. You're going to move a lot more from the chest into the front of the shoulder. Good. And we're going to bring the arm across the chest. Keep the shoulder down away from the ear. So you should feel this release through the back of the shoulder, maybe even the, the top of the shoulder a little bit. If you need a little extra, what you can do is take this arm that you just pulled across, make a fist, 90 degree elbow, wrap the hand around, pull up and look down. And you should feel that release right between the shoulder blades and into the bottom of your neck, up in your traps. Good, and then you can switch, arm across the chest, shoulder down away from the ears. And then if you need to make a fist, Wrap, pull up, look down. Good. 
Good. Now hand between the shoulder blades and just give your elbow a little gentle tug that stretches out your triceps. Right, you can roll out your shoulders. Let's come on to all fours. My favorite thing to do on all fours is cat cow. The yogis are really good at pairing this with your breath. I kind of do it as it, I feel it. So I usually inhale up and then exhale out like that. But take this nice and slow. And then if you feel like there's a spot that you kind of need to hold, just hold it. So these are some seated stretches to get you started. I'm going to pause the video, adjust, stand up, and then we'll do some standing stretches. All right. Hey everyone. So now we're moving on to standing stretches. I'm going to try to have you see my whole body the whole time that may or may not work um, because technology and I'm not a super techno genius, but at any rate, we're going to get started with um, calf stretches. So what you can do is find a wall and just put your toes up and then lean forward. Just like that. And then when you're ready, you switch. Now, another thing you can do with the wall is especially for my runners out there you can stretch out the back of your ankle so just coming forward and feel a pull right here be careful right not too much the last thing we want to do is like rip an achilles yes so just like that feel that little release for hamstrings a couple things you can do you can bend down and touch your toes, right? If you straighten your back a little bit, you'll get that deeper stretch. You can also put your leg up on something and reach forward that way, one at a time. And then you can turn, right? You can pivot and lean and get the inner thigh as well. I'm going to do that on my other leg, and I'm sorry when I do inner thigh, I'm going to turn away from you for a second. It's okay. Right? So you pivot for that inner thigh and then come on over. Good. Quads. Heel to your butt. Knee is down, thighs are close together. You can rotate the knee out a little bit and feel it change which part of the quads are stretching. The other thing, a really weird trick, but it works, is if you're having trouble balancing in this stretch, obviously you can hold on to something or you can pull on your opposite earlobe. So if you're, if you're um, stretching your right leg, your right quads, pull on your left earlobe and it is totally weird, but it works. Um, it helps you balance. So you're gonna switch sides. Good. Now, another way to stretch the glutes in the outer thigh is cross your ankle over your knee, sit your butt back and down, and feel that release right through there. If you're doing a lot of lunges, this feels really, really good after. I like to hold on for this one. I don't know if the, uh, I don't think the earlobe thing works on this one. Good. Now, if you want to stretch the side of your body standing up, what you can do is take one leg, cross it behind. So I'm crossing my left leg behind. If my left leg is going behind, my left arm is going up and you're going to push your hips out to your left. And you should feel the stretch all through the side of the body, especially through the waist. I've heard this called an IT band stretch. You can't really stretch your IT bands. You can foam roll them. 
and I will show you how to foam roll in a subsequent video. But remember, in this stretch, the leg that's going back, so let's say right leg going back, right arm up, hip to the right. Good. Something kneeling I forgot to show you, and I'll show you standing as well, is hip flexors. So you come to a kneeling position, right one foot forward, and what you're going to do when you do this is push your hips forward, tuck your tailbone under, and that's going to deepen the stretch through the hip flexors. If you want, bring your opposite arm up and twist, hand to the outside of the knee, and that's going to stretch out your back as well. So let's switch sides, other foot forward, hips, tailbone. You see that little tuck I just did? You want to feel that deep stretch through the hip flexors, arm up, and twist. Good, and here too, see how my shoulder is down away from my ear. Now, you can also do this standing. You just pick up the back knee, hips forward, tailbone under, just like that. And then switch. And you feel it pull right in the front here. Good, and then, um, chest. I wanted to show you chest. So what you're going to do, I'm going to open my door. hope nothing messy is in my hall. And you're going to put your hand in a door frame and you're going to pull open. You should feel this pull open right here. If you go a little too far, you'll get the front of the shoulder as well. But if you're doing a lot of push-ups or a lot of chest work in general, this is a really good, good, feeling stretch. All right, now we do the other side. Good, again, coming open. Oh, it feels so nice. I'll also show you a great stretch for this when I do the foam rolling video. Um, one of my girlfriends who is a PT showed me this awesome stretch for chest that you can do with a foam roller. So I will share the love with you on that. Um, again, for upper body, some of the arm stretches are exactly the same, right? So shoulder across, shoulder across, eagle, I believe this is called eagle pose in yoga. Um, so for your upper back, if you are someone who finds that you're sitting like this all day at a computer and you're feeling a lot of pain in your neck, in your upper back, if you're feeling some tightness in here, the chest stretch in the door frame is really good, as is the eagle pose, stretching that upper back and the base of your neck as well. This is where we carry a lot of tension. If you're stressed out and your shoulders are up here all the time, pull them down and do your eagle stretch. And that will feel so good. That will relieve so much tension for you. Um, if there are stretches that you feel that I have missed, um, that you would like to see covered, that you have questions about, let me know. I am happy to do a subsequent video on this or talk to you individually. Um, as always, please like and subscribe and share with a friend who needs it. Thank you so much for stretching with me today. I'll see you soon for another workout and maybe for some foam rolling too. Thanks.